We are here at the Tao of Peace talking about the sport of martial arts and life skills. Can you explain to me what exactly the Tao of Peace offers? It's a family place that offers empowerment for kids, a chance to learn some basic philosophy, which can help to guide their life and develop character traits that I think most parents are really desiring. Together with families, with parents, we work with their children in that way. The vehicle of our school is martial arts and it's multidisciplinarian with lots of different styles. Geared towards making it fun for kids and developing some self-defense skills, but also some athleticism, personal fitness, and have fun. When a kid signs up for a class, with the exception of the little tiny little ninjas, the five and six year olds, their class is 65 minutes, and in that 65 minutes, they're getting roughly 15 minutes of life skills. We're not just doing life skills in the sense of role modeling them. We're actually taking time to tell stories, go over quotes, discuss life skills. With the Little Ninjas, that happens as well, three times a day, just their classes are shorter. We even do life skills with our adult and teen programs. It's just done at their level. So we have a lot of fun in sharing those aspects of the, of the program uh, with the kids, which seems to really motivate them actually in their martial arts as well. We also have leadership programs, programs for parenting called Peaceful Parenting and Confident Children programs. So those are just some of the things that kind of pull it together as a, as a family center. Can you explain a little bit more about the other kind of programs that you offer for teenagers as well as adults? All of our programs are designed to have a specific curriculum for that age group and that the age groups are quite specific as well. So Little Ninja is just five and six year olds. Juniors, seven to 11 year olds. Intermediates, kids from 11 to about 13, and then teens, you know, 13 and older. We try and have the programs so that they're really geared towards a small age group, so kids don't feel like they're being left behind. And it's appropriate for them size-wise and skill-wise. Whereabouts does Tao of Peace practice in the city of Calgary? Uh, we have a building in Bowness um, that we've had since 2011. Um, it's a 15,000 square foot facility. It's at 6331 Bowness Road. And uh, we're just a block east of Bow Cycle, which is a big landmark down here. And uh, that's, our, that's our home where we, we train. What kind of challenges do you guys face as an organization when you are promoting your sport? I think the challenges are pretty universal with martial arts in general, although it's been changing drastically over the years. When I first started back in the early 80s, teaching martial arts and in the 90s opening up a studio, there were parents who had the feeling that maybe martial arts was going to give their child a license to solve problems aggressively. And some parents, the opposite, would give their child a chance to be able to defend themselves. Martial arts, like any sport, can be a way for the child to grow their character, to develop resiliency, to work on things that help them to be good communicators, strong advocates for others as well as themselves. Most martial arts are equated to discipline and structure, and I think that that has value for children as well. The misconception is that sometimes we're turning young people into tough guys and gals. I think what we're trying to do is turn them into responsible individuals who are kind and caring. How do people get in touch with Tao of Peace to learn more about the organization and your guys' programs? We have our own uh, website which is DaoofPeace.com and it's uh, quite a, a large website that allows parents to look at our philosophy, check out our different programs, see our scheduling, our pricing, um, and to actually see the facility with pictures and videos. And of course, we just invite people to come in to the facility. And so if a parent is interested in an adult program or if they're interested in their, their children being involved, then what we offer for them to be able to get to know us is to come in and just simply observe if they wish anytime. They can come in and actually do what's called a complimentary class where they're taught by one instructor for 45 minutes to an hour. So they get an idea of some of the skills they'd be learning, the style that's involved, um, and the ethos of the school. The third way is just to come in and jump into a class, which we call a trial. And so kids will come in and do a trial class. We loan them a uniform. They get out with the group, have fun. We usually buddy them up with a friend and then they just try it out. And from there, they can make a decision as to whether our studio is a good fit for the goals that they have personally for their own training. It really is a personal fit. And so going in and checking out the class is probably the best way 
for parents to determine if this is going to be a good experience for their children. Why should people get involved in martial arts? There's a lot of great studios in Calgary. We're blessed with a ton of them here. It's wonderful that, the, that a parent um, or a student that's desiring that can go in and try out different studios. Often people will train at different places. For me, my personal experience was as a young kid starting judo when I was like 11 years old. But I found that the discipline and the action of it and the, the confidence and the building up of physicality was really important for me in helping me. And then as I continued to train throughout the martial arts, I just found a love for the art itself as well as the science of martial arts and the science of self-defense. But the big pull for me was character development, was philosophy. And so if people are interested in learning more about themselves, learning more about philosophical concepts that are kind of wildly accepted throughout the world, they're not associated with any particular culture or any particular religion. They're just kind of universal concepts that people can share here and learn about and develop and then put into their own practice in their life because probably one of the biggest uh, comments that we get that we value tremendously is the martial arts you know it's fun it's great to learn it can help out with self-defense however it's more the camaraderie the fitness and more importantly the skills that they're learning which help them to be a better functioning individual.